Well, today is primer day, I guess, right? Yeah. Primer day. And Dad got this thing taped off pretty well this morning and got the windows covered and we kind of test fit the the Cosmos wheels this morning. I ended up having to order a 20 mil spacer for the front and 25 for the back um, just to get the right look. Um, this side's taped off and sanded as well. And Dad is kind of finishing up the the bumper repairs that I kind of showed you guys. We use that um, that 3M product to seal the um, so this is for the bumper repair if it'll focus and this is the 3M multi-purpose repair material um, supposedly it's super flexible easy to sand and it came out nice and kind of what we did there was put some duct tape down and then filled the filled the cracks that we had made to try and fit the rear diffuser on and then this product was a uh, panel adhesive um, seam sealer type stuff and it dries pretty much rock hard um, I'm sorry about that and uh, rather than weld it we just um, bent the tabs up and then filled it with that seam sealer that super hard seam sealer and then cut the tabs off just like you would if you would have welded it and uh, that all sealed up real nice there's a couple of little little pinholes in here in this area that you can see through the trunk and we'll just put um, some type of sealer um, like I don't know. I, I, that's yet to be determined, but we'll figure out what seam sealer we're, what sealer we're going to use to. Uh, I don't know if you can see the daylight or not. See the couple spots of daylight in there, on the left side there. And uh, so that's that. This side came out real nice you see one little pinhole there but we'll seal them from the inside of the fender we'll just run a bead on the inside and nobody but you guys will know about that and then this is kind of just mocked up it's not that's not anything permanent and this is kind of where we feel like that's gonna go I think we're gonna try and clean clean this area here up that way it's a little bit less visible mm. So for the hood, we've got the hood to fit nice and kind of where we want it. And this isn't like anything permanent. We don't have the bump. We don't have the bump stops in yet to where we can make that line up. And none of this stuff is really, uh, you know, 100% fitment yet. We just kind of put a couple, a couple screws in just to hold it up, and then that'll be that. But everything lined up real nice. Um, so I'm just kind of roughing up the side skirts and the front little lip spoiler there and that's the rear deck spoiler right here. Need to get that other rear fender off. The side skirts are done, they're already scuffed up. And I'm just using one of these one of these 3M sponges. It's 320 grit. Just kind of it's not wet. Just kind of dry sanding it just to scuff them up. And we went to, um, what was that place called? National Coatings su Supply. And we ended up picking up um, this. Hold on just a second, let me get it flipped over for you. We ended up picking this lacquer primer up. And uh, Dad seems to think it's going to coat real well and kind of hide any of the smaller imperfections that we haven't hit with Bondo yet. 
And the guy said, what we mix this, one to one? That? Yeah, Primer? yeah. You can do two to one. Okay. So yeah, we just mix it with lacquer thinner and go at it. And does this, does this, this stuff right here, does it go with? That's with our top coat. Okay, so then that seems to be comfortable adding this to the top coat. Which, what's the purpose of this? Medium dry reducer, um, you get a finer finish. Finer and, that's, finish. and that just helps it dry or what? Uh, in cases are, as you ordered was the paint. So it's... So I ordered uh, acrylic paint. urethane single stage red paint. Um, which should be here today. And then you mix it. How you mix that? Um, Wherever they gave you, a, they gave you a, a hardener. Sixteen ounces per gallon. And then you add that stuff to it too. You add that um, to where you're comfortable with spraying, and it gives a finer finish. Okay. Thins it, keeps it from wrinkling. You know. Yeah. So that's kind of the secret behind that. The secret is being a good painter so that's kind of what it's going to come down to we're not in a we're not in a paint facility as you can see doors are open there just so happens that for paint week they decided they was going to uh, re blacktop our road out there so the dust is extra extra present right now we also picked up uh, a couple boxes of these I can get it open. A couple boxes boxes of these rivets, which is what I'm gonna use to attach the body kit to to the car. And these are um, these are aluminum um, rivets, so trying to prevent the rust. Three sixteenths, M.8. Not sure what all that means, but half inch head though, right? Cosmetic. You mean this head? Right here? Yeah. So yeah, that's kinda that's gonna fit nice on them. So yeah, these are kinda these are kind of the holes that they give you. And then this is gonna go, you know, right in the center of there. Kind of cover up. And those will all be paint matched. You know, I've seen some people they uh, they go in and they don't they use like a all aluminum head and and it has that stainless look and kind of sets it, sets it apart from the car. You can kind of see all the rivets, you know, along the body, all the places that that get rivets. And we're not going to do that. We're going to just we're going to paint match everything and have it. It'll all be one color. So. So that's it for right now. Um, kind of just gonna get back to sanding. My GoPro's dead, it's charging, so can't have it on, unfortunately. But he's got a bunch of Bondo on there and kind of just sanding it off, cleaning it up, making it look pretty. And really the sides didn't take much Bondo. Um, all these little door dings and stuff, they kind of just, Kind of just evened out real nice but we'll be able to tell more once there's a full coat of paint or primer on there uh, so that's it for now i'll uh update you guys once once we're completely ready for for primer and everything's good to go there but yeah just uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to Give this guy whatever criticism you want to get. Give him. You got it coming. Thanks, guys.